back at you with yet another soda tube review. Soda tube? I thought it was brew tube. Is it soda tube now? Yeah. But actually, it says major snoozer on my shirt. For some reason, I'm a major snoozer, snoozer on school days. Yeah, you actually don't want to go to school. You want to, you want to chill. You get off all early in the weekends, though, don't you? So, Mini DJ, my prodigy, what do we have for us today? Uh, we have Goody Blue Pop and it was around since 1923. 1923? Yeah, it's at Mukilto, Mukilto, Washington. Okay. So it's at Washington State, United States soda, and it's blue. So who knows what flavor it is besides blue? And it's delicious vintage. Delicious vintage soda. So that means it's been made for a long time yeah. and it's supposed to be really good. Why don't you get the top popped off that bad boy and let us know what we got going on in the aroma and everything. Look at it. Look at it. How do you... Push it hard. Uh-oh. It's not working. It's not working? Let me come in for the assist here. Hold on. How do you... Hold on. There you go. Thank you. DJ to the rescue. <laughs> Watch out, it's fizzy. I did. I did. It's, all the, it's only up to there. It's... That's super fizzy. It's even ha it even has a blue head to it. <laughs> what a coincidence. It's going away really fast, though. Got some more potion to my spell. Well, yeah, potion, I'll say. Sugar potion, maybe. So this one, as I read on the bottle, is made with cane sugar. It's all quote unquote all natural besides the blue dye number 50 or whatever they've used to make it blue. So what's it smell like, man? We see the appearance is blue. You don't have to describe that. It smells like one of those like those fruit snack packs, like those little like raspberry things. Oh, like, like the blue. Oh, something. like the blue fruit chews or what, like or maybe like a blue fruit roll up. Yeah. So is it like blueberry or that like berry smell? Like berry, berry blue or something. Okay. So give it a taste. What we got going on? Wow, this is actually kind of good. Yeah? It tastes like the same thing as it smells though. What's it taste like? What? So describe it. These people aren't drinking it. They got to know. You don't know once they get it. Well, that's great. What's it taste like? <laughs> it tastes like... Tastes like goodies. Uh, what does goodies taste like? Does it taste like cherry, grape, what? Like like the fruit snacks and kind of a, lots of Jolly Rancher. Like, like a blue, blue jo Jolly Rancher. Oh, like a blue Jolly Rancher. Okay, which is like sort the of choose ones. So that's sort of like what, like a berry flavor? Mm-hmm. Or a manufactured berry flavor, anyway. A sugar berry. Is it real sweet or what? So, so, why don't you come here and give it a taste? Give it a taste, man. You know I don't like this stuff. Yeah, go for more there. Oh, great. Good spill. And nice. Smooth move, Axel You're welcome. Yeah, thanks. I get to clean it up, right? No, I do. You know what? It smells like blue cotton candy, sort of, to me. That's what I was looking for that word. Oh, yeah, right. I'm just an experienced reviewer. Professional, as it were. Anyway, yeah, let's see. Yeah, started a year ago. Hmm. Nice job, Santa Claus. It does taste like blue cotton candy, kind of artificial. That's enough, dude. Don't worry about it. We'll clean it up later. It tastes kind of artificial, right? Mm-hmm. I know there's no fruit in the world that tastes like this. Mm -hmm. Unless there's a fruit that's called blue. Unless, it, unless you put a million pounds of sugar in it. Yeah, it tastes like, to me, it tastes like blue cotton candy. How about you? Mm-hmm. That's not bad, though. No. Um, I did like that frosty root beer we had better though. Yeah. And I like I think I like the Jones sodas better than this one. I think I kind of like this one. You like this one? Mm hmm Okay. Everybody likes their own. So yeah, everybody likes cotton candy, but you. Yeah, I'm not. I, I'm not. I'm not big into the real sweet stuff. But anyway, continue on. I think it's pretty good, guys. Go ahead. You know the questions, would you buy it again and would you drink it again? I, I, I would if there was, 
Like if if the if this was next to a root beer, I would get this one. You'd pick that one over, okay, and you'd like root beer. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So on a scale of one to ten, so that means you'd buy it again too, and you'd drink it again. On a scale of one to ten, what grade would you give it? This is a ten soda. It is a hmm. AA soda. Giving it the full ten? Are you sure full ten? Not nine point five or anything? Full ten? Mm-hmm. Man, he's going out on a limb. For me, guys, I'd give it like an eight because I'm not big into the sweet stuff. I know I'm getting. You always give a soda an eight. No matter what kind of soda. Because I don't like fizzy drinks except beer. Look, dude, get it in the glass. I can't. <laughs> Anyways, guys, he's off the camera again because he's got to clean up another spill. This is like. Dude, Sorry, I did both of them with my left hand. Well, you know what? You can use your right hand too. You're not crippled. Anyways, guys. It's on my left side. What am I supposed to do? Bring it over here. That takes too long. Oh, see that? So laziness has caused the spill again. Anyways, guys. So um, DJ's giving it a, a 10. I'm giving it a 8.5, maybe an 8. I think maybe probably an 8. I, I, that's a, my assessment. I'm not big into the sweet. It's super sweet. If you like that super sweet con candy flavor, I'd say this is the one for you. What do you think, man? Yep. Yep. And he's giving it a 10. So kids out there, you may really like this one. So hey, worry about the trash later. We got a video going on. Oh man, there goes some destruction now. I don't want to wait. Wow. So anyways, guys, so what do we say, man? Peace out. That's right. Peace out, guys. We'll see you in the next DJ's, I guess, soda tube. Bye. Bye.